Hello everyone. Today we're going to work on some pencil code. We're going to make a guessing number game. So let me pull it up real quick. Um, again, I just went to um, pencilcode.net and logged in as me, the killer gin. And today we're going to go over how to make a guessing game. Basically, guess a number between a random number between 1 and 10. Um, you got three guesses. And that's about it. <laughs> so I'm going to go over it right now. Um, and just remember, if uh, I'm going too fast, you can pause <laughs> the video and you can rewind it and you can replay it and see where I'm getting all these, you know, little pieces of the puzzle. That's what they look like. Um, so here we go. Um, actually, I'm a little unfamiliar. <laughs> so sometimes I might be looking around for stuff. Please forgive me. So here we go. Um, today. No, no, sorry. Let's play a game. There you go. Another one. Guess a number between one and ten. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need three variables. X we're gonna set to three. X will be the number of guesses. Y is going to be the random number. And I think I get it from here. Um, and if you look closely, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I believe the random number generator will give me the number, the numbers uh, zero up to this number. So it's gonna be zero to nine. Um, and of course, I'm going to just let it give me 0 to 9 because we can change that. We can offset that count uh, to be between 1 and 10 by um, doing something very simple. Because if I do 10, it's going to give me 0 to 10. Um, and I can, it's going to be very hard to offset it. So if I do this and add 1, it's going to give me 0 to 9. So it'll, it'll push all the numbers uh, between 1 and 10. So you can see how that works. Again, if any questions you can ask me in class, uh, I just want you to practice this. Moving on. <laughs> next, um, next variable will be Z. Uh, we're going to store the player's guess in Z. So again, Y is the number uh, of guesses that they have. Random, uh, Y is going to be random number between one and 10. That's gonna be the secret number. Um, and Z is going to be uh, the input that the user gives you. So we're going to use three variables. Here we go. We're going to have to control the loop, the main game loop. We're going to say, well, uh, let me see. Let me say, well, X is greater than zero. So here we go. So X is greater than zero. Because at first, there is going to be three. Um, we have three guesses. And then go inside the this loop again. It's a while loop. So while this condition is true, it's going to actually see this. See what I'm doing with the mouse? <laughs> it's actually going to uh, loop forever as long. And it's going to come back and check. And as long as this is true, it's going to uh, go back into the while loop and do the code inside the while loop. Once this is false, it's actually going to bypass the while loop and continue down. And as you know, code starts at one and works its way down. Once it hits the bottom, it automatically quits. So in, in, in order to control the flow of execution, we can use a while loop to continue looping code. And then once, uh, again, once this is false, it's actually gonna leave here. So we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna continue. Let me see. Let's, you know what? Let's um, alert the player to how many guesses they have. Uh, let's say, this inside here says write hello. Obviously, as you can see at the top, oops, Wow, I even noticed that. Thanks. <laughs> um, it's going to automatically, this is literal. It's going to actually just print out exactly what it sees. Um, so we can change that. So we can put um, guesses left. So here, in order to actually display the guesses, we're going to show the variable here. It's going to say three guesses left. And we're going to move on, but I'll get back to that. Um, 
now we actually have to get input from the user and oh here it is I wonder if I can move this no it doesn't look like it but it's okay input from the user pause for a number from the user pause for input I'm gonna do read num input probably means uh, probably like with strings I'm gonna go with the number so I'm gonna get a number I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna get something and I'm gonna put it in Z now I need to control and I need to check um, and if Z is Y see we're going to get the input from the user we're gonna place it inside the variable Z and we're going to check if the guess Z is the same as the random number that we generated here um, if so if again it works very similar to the while loop um, if it's true it'll go inside and so if this is true we want to say if Z is Y and it's true we want to say something like let me see I guess we can say congratulations uh, or correct correct and right here this plus we actually get the else so here we can put uh incorrect um so again this will this will loop this is this loop will continue um, as it is actually it would loop forever because we're never actually modifying x um, so it's going to be three and it's going to go all the way through here and it's going to be three and it go through so it's never going to end so we need to figure out a way to change x so we're going to change x i think we can do it somewhere hmm, probably operators there you go um, if it's incorrect i want to since we don't have a minus plus uh, like a minus equals we're going to have to do it ourselves so instead of a minus one uh, adding a negative one is the same thing so here at least when you're incorrect we will be um, subtracting one from x is adding a negative one is the same as subtracting again um, but this will allow x to go down so it'll be three incorrect it'll be two incorrect it'll be one and it'll go in and it'll be zero and then once it hits it's zero is no longer zero is not greater than zero so this will be false and this will actually end because there's no other code for the game to run here and that would be great um, and if it's correct we don't want it to go back up because if it's correct at three it's gonna go back up and it's gonna be three again and it's gonna be very bad for us so you know what if they're correct we actually want to make x equals zero and that should be good and one last it looks pretty good so far let me go um and add something so that we can actually see what the game actually had for the secret number so again how we did up here with the x uh, guesses left we can say literally again this is a literal part your oh the random number was and we'll make the computer give it to us so plus z i believe no no not z z is the input we want to give us the random number which is y so here again this is how we did it up here um in the changes you see how it changed it the plus yeah, that that's confusing if you didn't actually pay close attention the right did not have this like segment here once you put the plus in it actually puts it in itself and that's what it's literally saying type this literally and then add um, the number it just places the number there you have to you have to do it between a string and a number we're actually telling the computer we want this and then we want the number we're not like adding you can't add strings and numbers together we just want it next to each other same thing it works very similar to, to the, the guesses here um, and it looks like everything what the heck why is that like that okay I guess that's the way it works we'll see Let's see if this works. Let's. Oh yeah. Oh, I see why. Because here it cannot tell if this if this is the end of this. If this was just here, so this is saying this is not actually uh, the couple that ends the literal part. So if you put this the slash like this, 
um, it knows that it's just going to type it in like this. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's see. Guess a number between 1 and 10. Three guesses left. I don't know. I don't know. Three. Incorrect. Four. Incorrect. Five. Incorrect. The number was two. As you can see, again, the code starts at one. It starts always at the top, and it goes down. And it's going to execute exactly what I write. So once it hits here, and you know it goes down, and it re, you know, it's obviously gonna loop here three times if I'm obviously guessing the wrong number. Then it's gonna hit here, tell us the number, and because there's nothing left, it ends. Um, so let's try it again. Three. Four, five. Number was one. Uh, three, four, five. Yeah, I know. I am. Um, oh, look, I got it right in the last one. Uh, being very original here. Three. Nope. Four, five. Number was one. Three, <laughs> four, five. Number was nine. Three, four, five. Oh, it's five again. You know what? Let me just try something different. Uh, one. No, two, and let's like six or something. There's three. Anyways, it, it's looking like it's, it's it's working. Yes, there you go. And, 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 and even though I had more guesses left, and the guesses are going down appropriately. See, three guesses. Six, I was wrong. Two guesses. Oh, so it looks like this right here. I can say something like enter number let's see how that works enter number here you go looks a little nicer huh oh no two three incorrect five incorrect six it was seven and the, the guesses are going down and it's looking like everything is good so again right guess a number three variables a number of guesses the random number the, the variable that captures um, the user input it checks to see as long as guesses is greater than zero, it will continue this game loop. Uh, it writes out how many guesses are left. This is actually what it types right here. Enter number, enter number. You know, I guess you can add this if you want. Um, something like this to make it look a little nicer. And right here, three. So, there you go. And, it, and it, it reads the number and puts it in Z. It compares Z to the random number. If it's correct, it makes it uh, all the guesses zero. That, that way, it can quit the loop no matter what guess you're on. It automatically default it to zero, so it just quits. Else, uh, right? Else, if it's not, if Z, the guess is not the correct random number, so it doesn't go in here and automatically executes this else. That's what happens. If else means if it's true, go inside here. If it's false, go automatically inside the else. I'm sorry, I didn't cover that earlier. Um, and it says incorrect. We minus the guesses, and it loops again. So it's a pretty very basic um, program. Um, but again, I know for a lot of my students, at least in middle school right now, this is like an alien language. This is brand new. I know I'm teaching you guys programming for like the first time some of you guys never had programming before uh, and I think even some of you guys never had a computer or even have one at home but I'm hoping that um you know whenever you get an opportunity with your parents permission um, to go on to pencilcode.net and learn a little programming you can refer to this lesson here and you, and you can review it you can try it I want you to experiment with it and see how you can you know well, first you have to understand it, <laughs> and then hopefully um, once you get it, you can you know start changing things around. And I don't know. I mean, there's so many things you can do. It's really your imagination um, is the limit. Um, perhaps you can award more guesses if they're right. You can award point system. You can make the turtle do something if they're um, if they're correct or they're incorrect. You can make them do stuff. Uh, and perhaps I can cover that in another lesson, but. Um, but for now, this is basically it. So when you see me in class, just um, ask me questions, and I'll be more than happy to answer you. Um, so I guess this is it for now. Thanks so much for checking in. This is my first recording. It, this is like one shot. It, I think I'm just going to keep it. I'm not going to bother doing it again. But <laughs> thank you so much for your time, guys.